I learned something yesterday. The greatest threat to our existence is not the 2020 presidential election, nor is it the coronavirus. It is, in fact, gay people. That is, according to One Million Moms, an activist organization whose latest target is Disney Pixar's Onward, which opens in previews on Thursday and hits theaters nationwide on Friday night. Unlike anybody in One Million Moms, I have actually seen Onward, and I'm here to launch a boycott of the boycott, which is to say that I think everybody watching this video should go out and support Onward. They should see it not just because I personally find this boycott distasteful, but because it is a fantastic animated family film, one of my top five Pixars, in fact. Uh, you can listen to a roundtable discussion of the movie on Friday on the Kicking the Seat podcast, which you can check out on iTunes and Stitcher or kickseat.com. But enough of the plugs. What I want to do now is read the petition, which you can find at 1millionmoms.com, and if you're so inclined, you can sign the petition. But if you're not a bigot, I strongly suggest that you uh, refrain from doing that, even though you could join the 24,000 uh, brave souls who have lined up against this movie uh, in the hopes of getting it pulled, which it's not going to happen. So let's just dive into this. Now, I don't have a teleprompter or a photographic memory, so I'm going to be reading my screen. I'll try and do so dramatically to make this somewhat visually interesting, if nothing else, um, and we'll just dive right into it. So alerting all parents... One Million Moms needs your help to make sure as many people as possible are aware of Disney pushing the LGBTQ agenda on families, particularly children, in the upcoming animated movie Onward, set to hit theaters Friday, March 6. The character of Officer Spectre, voiced by openly gay Lena Waithe, is a purple lesbian cyclops whose dialogue reveals her sexuality. In one scene, Spectre and her police officer partner, Officer Gore, voiced by Ali Wong, pull over a driver who claims he was distracted by the bad behavior of his girlfriend's sons. Spectre, empath hey. Spectre empathizes by saying, my girlfriend's daughter got me pulling my hair out. This scene takes place toward the middle of a quest by two brothers, voiced by Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, as they head to the magical mountains to resurrect their father for a day. There have been numerous attempts by Disney to indoctrinate children with the LGBTQ agenda discreetly and now more overtly. In 2019, Disney proudly admitted to be there being a gay couple in the animated children's series Star Wars Resistance. In the past, there were mostly speculations about the inclusion of LGBTQ characters by Disney. For example, Disney's Finding Dory from 2016 briefly depicts a lesbian couple in one scene. Commentary time. I hope nobody at One Million Moms actually looks into who the star was of Finding Dory in 2016. Otherwise, there might be uh, one million heart palpitations, if you know what I mean. Anyway, the live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast from 2017 continued testing the waters with a brief implication that LeFou was gay. And more recently, Toy Story 4 showed two moms in the background dropping their child off at school, then returning to pick up the child who hugs him. It is obvious that the child has two mothers and they are parenting together. These scenes are subtle in order to desensitize children, but now Disney has traded in subtlety for intentionality. Disney has decided to be politically correct instead of providing family-friendly agenda programming. Disney should stick to entertaining, not pushing an agenda. I don't know if you can hear it, but I have children and they're playing upstairs. Uh, hopefully not too distractingly. Coming out of Onward, I was struck by just how much family-friendly entertainment I had actually uh, enjoyed. This movie has a tremendous heart. Uh, it talks about strong family bonds and in something that we don't really see a whole lot, uh, which uh, in, in modern, I guess, family entertainment, there is a focus on, on dads and the bonds between fathers and sons and, and brothers. Uh, that's not to say that it is a, a toxic masculinity movie or anything like that. In fact, it shows the flip side of that and provides real insight into the male psyche, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, that's not to say this is an exclusionary uh, movie towards women or people who don't happen to be, you know, brothers or fathers or sons, uh, but again, it does provide some insight. Uh, and it also provides the kind of uh, entertainment that I would think that an organization like Million uh, Moms would be on board with, uh, showing tight-knit families who go through struggles and they, they solve problems uh, with love and commitment and pulling together, not the distress of the family, which I'm sure they're, they're all very concerned about. So yeah, this whole boycott is very puzzling to me, uh, except for the fact that there is this uh, one line from one minor character in one very funny scene uh, that suggests that there is a gay character. Now, I'm 
very concerned because uh, these one million moms who are uh, ostensibly raising children who are going to go out into the real world someday and encounter people who don't just come from uh, heterosexual uh, loving families, they're going to run into people who were born in, in, you know, to straight parents, to gay parents, to single parents, to no parents, and they're going to find, hopefully, that they are just people uh, with, you know, values that probably align with their own uh, in a lot of cases. Uh, they're not uh, Satan's spawn. Uh, there's not some kind of an evil corporate uh, devil agenda at work here. Uh, Onward is one of the most lovely and loving movies uh, in recent memory that I can recall. Uh, and again, I'm launching this boycott of the boycott because I think everyone should see it. Um, there's not much else to say, I don't think, uh, but don't believe any of this, uh, this anti-hype around the film. It's a truly magical experience. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you take your family to enjoy it. I hope you have some great conversations afterwards about uh, family dynamics uh, and love and all of that because there's a lot to unpack here. So thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed, click the bell for notifications. Uh, and again, whatever that is uh, that we get back together, I appreciate you watching and take care.